Here we have the 2019 Avalon Touring and the beautiful Celestial Silver. Some key things that are coming out as you go around the vehicle. You do have your LED lights. These are by far the most beautiful lights I've seen on a Toyota product. You do have this nice piano black mesh grille with parking sensors on the front of the vehicle. Also, this Toyota emblem, it's new in the sense of there's now a sensor in the vehicle as well as behind the um, rear view mirror, there's a little cutout right there. That's gonna give you access to lane departure, dynamic cruise control, some other key features. But to kind of go off of those two things, lane departure helps to keep you centered near the road. So if you start veering off to the left or to the right, it's gonna know uh, as far as um, where your attention's down the road, and even give you some extra uh, steering assist to keep you centered in your lane. Dynamic cruise control, like I said, uh, with the cruise control part of it, nothing is um, you know, re-innovated. It's not new technology, but the dynamic cruise control of Toyota is really taking it to the next step. So with that, you set your cruise control speed to 75, let's say. Um, you saw a vehicle gets in front of you, slows down to 65. Uh, with dynamic cruise control, it's gonna keep you at a safe distance at the distance that you choose to be at. So you can choose, you know, three car lengths, two car lengths, one car length. And, and if that vehicle slows down in front of you, it's going to automatically uh, slow you down. Let's say he moves back over, you go back to your designated um, cruise control speed. Okay. Also, you do have these nice functional um, aero cutouts right here uh, to help keep your tires cool and stuff like that. So let's go around the vehicle, matching the panel grill. You have a um, piano black side caps. It's beautiful lines on this vehicle. Nice rims. These are on the XSE as well as the Avalon Touring that we have right here. Piano black spoiler, diffuser, and nice blackout package on the Touring as well. Here you do have your quad exhaust, and we'll give you some, um, some samples of what that sounds like in a second. Going all the way around the vehicle so you can see it. And I'll show you something really cool about these headlights. So in the Limited and the Touring, you have these nice sequential headlights. I mean, just look at this. This is a, a Toyota Avalon, you know? This isn't, um, you know, your grandmother's car anymore. This is definitely redesigned to fit a, a new demographic. Not saying, you know, old people can't drive these vehicles, but it's crazy what Toyota is doing to um, re-engage um, pretty much everybody in the market. I mean, look at this. I mean, you're driving the road, you're going to see this vehicle, you're not going to know this is an Avalon. On this particular model, you do have the keyless entry, remote start, and uh, push button start. Okay, so you just come up to the door, put your hand there, doors do unlock. To lock it, you can simply press the two lines right there, doors lock. Let's get in. Interior, like I said, uh, th this vehicle is outstanding in what it offers now. So you do have ventilated, heated seats. You have this nice uh, soft tex leather and this beautiful, beautiful suede. And, and this seat is probably the most comfortable seat that I've been in in a long, long time. Along with that suede, you do get this on the outline right here. Memory seats. I'll show you something cool once we get in. Also, automatic and uh, adjusting steering wheel with your memory seats, powered seats. So we get in, let's put our foot on the brake. So your steering wheel comes down, seats move forward to your setting, and it's just, it's all about comfort and luxury in this vehicle. I don't know if you can see, you had your heads up display here that gives you access to the lane departure and dynamic cruise control, as well as your speedometer and what gear you're in. With those sensors I was pointing out, you do give, um, you do get automatic high beams on this vehicle. So you just turn that on, turn your high beams on once your vehicle um, has appropriate light setting. And uh, those sensors will detect headlights and tail lights. So if you're approaching a vehicle from behind or even um, oncoming traffic, uh, your headlights will, your automatic high beams will dim down, keeping everybody safe on the road, okay? So here you have your speedometer. You can go down, play with some settings. This is your um, dynamic, or your lane departure and also your dynamic cruise control once you have that activated. Um, your music infotainment center and you can also change the source from here and these are this is everything that your vehicle is equipped with 
uh, when you have everything on. So you have pre-collision system and you can choose all this and turn it on. So let's say blind spot monitors you want to turn off, you no longer have those. And then uh, when you turn it back on, you see the sensors and you even see the lights come on up there when you change it. Rear cross shock alert ties in with the um, uh, sorry, the blind spot monitors. So if you're backing out a spot, let's say there's a big old truck right next to you, even if your backup camera can't see or your eyes can't see it, those blind spot monitors will detect um, traffic coming um, from the left or from the right. And it'll give you a, a visual warning on the backup camera and also um, on the side mirrors. And if you go back down, if you had any, you know, um, here you can do your lane departure, pre-collision, blind spot monitors, rear cross track alert, um, heads up display, and you can choose also what you see on the heads up display and adjust the position and brightness. If you had any type of low tire pressure or anything like that, it would pop up right here. So you do have your automatic parking brake, which would be right here. So the minute you put it in drive, that does come off, you put it back in park, comes on, lift off the brake, no more rolling or anything like that. Speaking of rolling, this is everybody's best friend. Everybody's guilty of it. You have your hold brake right here. So if you are, so let's say, let's put this seatbelt on really quick. And I'll show you what this is gonna look like. So you just press that, hold icon comes there, put it in drive. Usually what happens is, you got your foot off the brake, you start rolling a little bit just on an automatic vehicle. So I let go of the brake vehicle is not rolling so everybody's guilty of it you're at a stoplight you're on your phone whatever it is you're checking on your kids in the back um, with that on you don't roll all you do is give it some gas and then you start rolling just a little bit and you're back in business you're at a complete stop let go of the brake you're not going anywhere just like that also on the Avalon touring you get your normal eco normal mode you get a sport mode and on the touring you get the sport plus and if I'm allowed to, we'll take some little drive and I'll show you some acceleration. This vehicle is outstanding in, in capability as far as on the road. You're going to have your dual climate control, ventilated seats, and heated seats. Right now, sorry, I got them backwards. Heated seats and ventilated seats. Right now, I have them ventilated on. Um, it's pretty pretty hot outside here in Texas, and you know that, that really helps your, you know, I dress in a button up every day to work. This uh, ventilated seats keeps you nice and, um, you know, cool during the summer and also nice and warm during the winter. On this model, you get the um, premium Intune 3.0 system, which gives you access to, I believe, 14 JBL speakers throughout the whole vehicle. It sounds incredible uh, with these speakers. Um, you know, if you like your music, you like a little bit of bass, this is definitely the speaker setup for you. Also on the head, you get navigation, um, access to Apple CarPlay. I do have an Android phone, so I'm unable to show you right now, unfortunately. And then also your XM radio, um, Bluetooth, and auxiliary ports. Down here, you have your wireless charging pad. As long as your phone is compatible with it, this will charge your phone for you. But overall, you get this beautiful interior, nice carbon fiber um, display, suede, leather, best of both worlds. And um, I'll try to give you some um, some revs and uh, even take you on the road just to get a nice feel of how this vehicle drives for you. Let's get going.